LEGO Fortnite has new vehicles and I've got all the details plus a few tips. You can still build your own designs and LEGO gifted us a bunch of new parts to play with in their Mechanical Mayhem update, including the most important part, a steering wheel. There are currently build plans for three vehicles. They're in the builds menu at the bottom under the heading Rugged Rollers and they're definitely not rugged. But they're fun and with a little pumping these are some fun vehicles. Plus they're all yours for the very low price of zero V-Bucks. The speeder appears when you add a power cell and it only needs wood, cord and granite so it's a cheap build and very fast. It's difficult to control and very delicate. Like try not to bump into anything because you'll lose a bumper or worse. It's also easy to flip these over and they don't climb hills well unless you modify them. Add flexwood to your inventory and you'll reveal the off-roader. It seats four and you've got room on the roof for a chest. It's a little slower but still fast and it feels a little more stable when driving. I prefer the Uber experience. Just make sure your driver doesn't try to go over a narrow bridge and end up in the water. These vehicles are not water friendly and getting back your parts from deeper water seems impossible still. Add frostpine to your inventory and the hauler is revealed. It's huge and can carry several chests or even a house if you want to mimic the images from LEGO Fortnite, but no idea when the crane is coming to help you get the house onto it. They're listed under the new Rugged Rollers heading and they're not that rugged. They also all require a power cell to run as is and those power cells are a bit complicated and time consuming to make. But with a little imagination, you can enhance these vehicles with a relatively cheaper thruster power, which will likely get you much further than a power cell across your massive world. I didn't have a lot of confidence, but I still had to test this rugged off-roader through a short, shallow water area between our castle and fishing island. In Battle Royale, you can hydroplane the cars over water for a while before they sink. In LEGO, they just sink. And there are no tow trucks or cranes yet, so I ended up losing this vehicle. They also flip fairly easily, and sometimes it's a major challenge to get it flipped back over, especially by yourself. I wish there was a flip button, like cars in Battle Royale have. All three vehicles have a power center that must have at least one power cell for power, and the hauler can hold up to four. It's a slow and painful process to farm them, but the real fun comes when you add thrusters. They add a lot of power and don't seem to run out of fuel. Of course your vehicle can get overpowered quickly, but that adds to the fun. The new steering wheel is really the star of this update. It's attached to a seat and has buttons marked 1, 2, and 3. You can use these to control thrusters attached to the vehicle. For the speeder, just put one thruster on the back and hit the number 3 button to boost up hills. You can use the wrench to configure which button controls which rockets, which is a breakthrough addition in LEGO for larger vehicles. The wrench recipe appears when you add wooden rod to your inventory, and you can craft it on the workbench. Just use the wrench on the thrusters to set their button, then hit that button to fire them. Then you can have a little speed or a lot. You can also configure these to make turning with air vehicles much easier, and we'll cover that in another video soon. The wrench can also change the direction the tires are powered to help large vehicles make tighter turns. Check out my next video for all the details on farming power cells and be sure to follow so you don't miss any of my fun LEGO Fortnite videos. Uh.